There is a myriad of fascinating objects in the cosmos, including planets, comets, asteroids, stars that are more than 2,000 times as big as the Sun, and supermassive black holes that have the ability to rip celestial objects apart. It can be easier to consider the nature of objects such as planets that are nearby. Even though our solar system contains a number of massive planets, it is natural to wonder if there are any greater planets out there. We are looking at the largest planet in the cosmos. So then how massive is it? Where is it? And how does it compare to other planets in our neighborhood? Join us as we investigate the largest planet found by scientists in the universe. In order to identify these heavenly planets, we require a working definition. Even if the solution to this problem may seem to be quite simple, the term planet has been given several rather plain definitions. However, that doesn't help us focus on the definition for debate. Fortunately, we have a governing body to offer us a straightforward answer. According to the International Astronomical Union, a planet must exhibit three qualities or carry out three main functions. It needs to rotate around a star. It must be big enough for gravity to mold it spherically. It must have a large enough orbit around its star for and to pass through. This definition, which excludes some celestial bodies from consideration and created controversy when it was first presented because Pluto was not included in the list of planets in our solar system, is actually rather helpful. The term exoplanet, which refers to any planet outside of our solar system, must be taken into consideration. And that brings us to AB AURB, a gigantic exoplanet that is similar to Jupiter and is nine times as large. This planet was found by scientists at a remarkably early stage of creation. They describe it as still in the womb. This discovery challenged the accepted theory of how planets originate. The planet, a gas giant orbiting extraordinarily far from its young host star, was discovered and investigated by astronomers using the Hubble Space Telescope in orbit and the Subaru Telescope near the peak of a dormant Hawaiian volcano. Jupiter and Saturn are examples of gas giants. These planets are mostly composed of hydrogen and helium with swirling gases encircling a smaller solid core. This new research could hold the secret to finding extraterrestrial life. We think it is still very early in its birthing process, says Subaru Telescope astrophysicist Thane Curry of NASA's Ames Research Center. Evidence suggests that this is the earliest stage of a gas giant formation ever observed. It is enclosed within a massive disk of gas and dust containing the components required to form planets and around the star AB Origae which is 508 light years or 9.5 trillion kilometers away from Earth. It is nearing the maximum size required to be classified as a planet rather than a brown dwarf, a body halfway between a planet and a star that is scorched by gas and dust falling into it. Almost all known exoplanets have orbits closer to their stars than the distance between our solar and its farthest planet Neptune. Nevertheless, this planet orbits the Sun at a distance 93 times bigger than Earth and three times that of Neptune. According to astronomer and study co-author Oliver Guyon of the Subaru Telescope at the University of Arizona, the conventional thinking is that most, if not all, planets formed by the slow accretion of solids into a rocky core and the gas giants go through this phase before the solid core is massive enough to start accreting gas. In this scenario, Protoplanets in a young star's disk gradually transform from dust to larger sized solid objects, and when their core masses reach several times that of Earth, they begin to collect gas from the disk. This discovery challenges our understanding of planet formation, Guyon said, adding that this process cannot form giant planets at a large orbital distance. The scientist thinks AB AURB is actually forming in a situation where the disk surrounding the star cools and gravity forces it to break up into one or more huge clumps that eventually form into planets. According to Curry, there are various methods for cooking an egg, and it appears that there may be more than one way for a planet like Jupiter to form. Nearly 60 times brighter and 2.4 times more massive than our Sun is the star AB Origae, by stellar standards, it is just about 2 million years old, compared to our middle-aged sun, which is approximately 4.5 billion years old. Our understanding of the cosmos is eventually increased by the ongoing challenge posed by new astronomical data to our established ideas. 
What then is the largest planet in the universe? The largest planet in the universe, Rox 42 Beeb, is estimated to have a diameter up to 2.5 times that of Jupiter or slightly larger. This enormous planet, which was first discovered in 2013, is believed to be located in the Rho Ophiuchi cloud complex. This kind of planet is referred to as a hot Jupiter. In our solar system, Jupiter is 400 million miles from the Sun, but Rox 42 Beeb has an extremely short orbital period and is located in close proximity to its star. So the terminology used to describe it suggests that its surface temperature is likely to be very high. Because of the rapidity of their host stars, hot Jupiters are easier to detect and quantify. In contrast to some of the other candidates, Rox 42 Beeb is almost surely a planet, according to scientific consensus. However, several of the candidates for the title of the universe's largest planet are regarded not to be actual planets at all. HD 100546b, for example, has a radius of 6.9 rj. However, the exoplanet's mass and other characteristics suggest that it is a brown dwarf. A brown dwarf is an object that lies between a planet and its star. Despite being far larger than conventional planets, these stars did not pile up enough mass to begin fusing hydrogen in their centres. Brown dwarfs are thus defunct stars that continue to evolve rapidly for the majority of their lifespan. A few of these brown dwarfs are on the list of the largest planets in the universe. Nonetheless, they are not true planets. On the other hand, a colossal super Jupiter orbiting two stars defies predictions surrounding the formation of planets and their environments. The planet known as B Centauri B is approximately 325 light years away from Jupiter. The gas giant, which is approximately 11 times more massive than Jupiter, but appears to have a comparable composition, is part of a class of planets known as Super Jupiters, which have masses greater than the largest planets in our solar system. It revolves around a binary system, which is a pair of gravitationally coupled stars. Its orbit is possibly the largest of any known planet. It is 560 times larger than Earth's and roughly 100 times wider than Jupiter's orbit around the Sun. The mass of the two stars that comprise the B Centauri system ranges from 6 to 10 times that of our Sun. No planet has ever been found circling a star with a mass greater than 3 times that of the Sun. It was previously thought that stars larger than that would burn out the planetary formation process due to their intense radiation emissions. This discovery disproves that theory. Here's how it went down. Marcus Johnson and his colleagues were surveying the star system with the spherical exoplanet imager on the European Southern Observatory's very large telescope in Paranal, Chile. I kind of went into it with a blank head, Marcus admitted. I thought there would be no planets around the stars, which would be interesting, but there might also be potentially plenty of planets around them, which would be even more interesting. The detection of a planet so early in the survey, which ran from March 2019 to April 2021, surprised the scientists. But its features were even more surprising. The B Centauri system is made up of two stars, B Centauri A and B Centauri B. They have a mass that is roughly 6 to 10 times that of the Sun when combined, and should be too massive to host a giant planet at this mass range. Furthermore, both of them are hotter stars than those that typically host planets. The newly discovered planet is located within the larger of the two tandem stars in the B Centauri system. This star is more than three times hotter and has a mass around five to six times that of the Sun. It also releases a lot of ultraviolet and X-ray radiation. It belongs to the B-type star class of extraordinarily bright blue stars. It is rather young in cosmic standards, being only about 15 million years old. Planets, as previously established, are formed from gas and dust left over from star formation. These particles collide, splitting into progressively larger fragments until a newborn planet is formed. This planet discovery calls into doubt the timeline for planetary formation. Planets are formed as material combines in the huge disks of expanding gas and dust that surround newborn stars. The formation of a planet with such a giant size is threatened by the high-intensity radiation from these massive stars. 
Before this most recent discovery, scientists believed that stars of this size did not allow the formation of gas giant planets. This means that the ability to develop rapidly is rather tough because they don't have anything to form it with and so won't have time to form before the disk vanishes. The discovery also raises the possibility that planets could form faster because the distance from the stars probably matters a lot, or did when the planet formed. The process of planet formation appears to be highly diverse. It has frequently exceeded our expectations in the past and will most likely continue to do so in the future. So what happens next? Because of the new exoplanet's close proximity to Earth, the team hopes to conduct additional observations of it, and they have already filed bids to some of the largest telescopes available to learn more about the planet's atmosphere and other aspects. Heading back home, what is the solar system's largest planet? It is no longer news that Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. This enormous gas giant planet has a gigantic radius of 43,441 miles and a mass that is approximately 317 times that of Earth. However, this planet is not a brown dwarf because it lacks the necessary mass. According to Yamila Miguel, Jupiter had the greatest influence on the formation of the solar system since its gravitational pull determined the sizes and orbits of its cosmic neighbours. Therefore, understanding how it formed is critical for future planets. The researchers stressed that it's critical that we don't label these new worlds because of their cloudy surfaces when we discover them with NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. The title of the largest planet ever discovered is determined by how exoplanets are characterised. Nevertheless, new and exciting discoveries in the future may alter our current understanding of these worlds. Planetary science is a complex subject. International agencies frequently dispute on the classification of planets, dwarf planets and exoplanets, which is still being worked out. But one thing is certain, Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. This fact will not change, but our knowledge of the universe will get more focused as time passes. You never know when researchers will make a completely new discovery. They might just drop a discovery bomb on us, disrupting all we believe to be true. Anyway, please share your thoughts in the comments section below.